Welcome back to the new and improved school year, Wildcats. I'm Mia Whalen, founder of the Super Sassy Savers, and we're giving you the coolest news, cooler than the other side of your pillow. Hi everyone, I'm Erica Haynes. I am the co-founder of The Super Sassy Savers, and we would like to introduce our newest member to the anchor group, Melissa Diaz. <coughs> oh, hi, I'm Melissa Diaz. Get used to the face. I'll be providing you the information for this year's events and upcoming activities. I'm going to jump right into the upcoming sports. Our own Mr. Kansas Sports Coordinator this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fat cha. Our goal this year is to provide students with four teams. Basketball, soccer, volleyball, and run club. Keep in mind, you have to maintain an average 2.0 GPA in order to be in a sport. <laughs> Important. There will be a meeting about sports on September 28th in room 112. Like, really important. You must go. That's all for sports. Thank you, Melissa, for the information about this year's sports. And now off to a segment about SGA's upcoming plans. Good morning, folks. My name is Angelo Lopez, and I'm your SGA president. And I'm Gabby Lopez, your SGA vice president. And today we're here to introduce ourselves and talk to you a little bit about... Our plans and ideas for this school year. Hi, guys. As SGA president and vice president, what are some goals you guys have to improve the school, and how do you plan on acting on them? First off, we want to promote more involvement with the students. To do this, we plan on doing community building events that helps the students build friendships and communicate with each other more. Angelo, as a senior, how do you think you'll be able to appeal to grade levels below you and help set an example for them? Yeah, I think that since I'm at a higher grade level, um, you know, I definitely have experience and leadership skills in order to qualify for the position of being a role model to the younger grades. And definitely I want to, you know, give some wisdom, give some advice, and get along with them because they're still my peers. Gabby, how do you think this role will affect how you view your school, yourself, etc.? Well, as vice president, I definitely now hold myself up to a whole, uh, higher standard. I view myself as a leader and a role model. So has definitely changed my perspective on myself. It's changed my perspective on the school because I get to influence and see the inner workings of how the students, the teachers, and the staff interact with each other, and I'm hoping to influence more. What is one characteristic of the school that you would like to keep the same? Oh, definitely the school spirit. Although the school spirit is good right now, we would definitely like to increase it, though. Mm -hmm. How will you both show your responsibility and professionalism as president and vice president? Yeah, I think, you know, maintaining that balance of being a student and being a leader at the same time. So just keeping that up. How can students who have ideas for the school reach out to you? Students who have ideas about the school can reach out to, to us through our grade level reps. We have Brianna as 12th grade. As 11th grade, we have Kimberly Pawagachi. For 10th grade, we have Caitlin. And for 9th grade, we have Ashley. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for anyone else wanting to run for president next or advice for your peers in general? Yeah, I think, you know, just making those connections and building some relationships with all the students here uh, it definitely factors into, you know, how that election will turn out. But aside from that, just, you know, it doesn't hurt to do that uh, without any motive. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I feel like you should be able to build connections even if you're not running for president. Mm -hmm. You should be able to have to, like, be social, make friends. All right, and once again, my name is Angelo Lopez, your president. And my name is Gabby Lopez, your vice president. Thank you for watching. Okay, good. I'm looking forward to all of the fun days. Now moving on, we have the pop culture segment with all of the cheese Hello, Wildcats. I'm Gerardo. And I'm Fern. And, and welcome, welcome to, to an episode, episode of Pop, pop Culture. culture. Throughout the episode, we're going to talk about the woman who caused a 2.3 magnitude earthquake. Oh my god, who did that? I shake it off. I shake it off. Oh my god, Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about Taylor Swift, who is now a topic in a college class at Arizona State University. Oh my god, I heard about that. That class is called the psychology of Taylor Swift. And the students will learn how, to, how the lyrics in her songs relate to different forms of psychology. Yeah, it'll break down the lyrics romantic relationships, and social developments of Taylor Swift. One of the professors teaching the class will talk about the Reputation album 
and how she used it to show how good of a musician she is to get revenge after the incident with Kanye West. Oh yeah, when Kanye interrupted Taylor after she won an award at the VMAs in 2009, and he said that Beyonce had the best music video of all time. Roll the clip. Thank you so much for giving me the chance to win a VMA award. I shook it off so much and now I'm here. Whoa. 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 Right. Yo, Taylor, I'm really happy for you. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. <laughs> of all time. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Today, you have all been brought here to witness my beautiful creations. I will be presenting my artistry to all you peasants. enjoyed this beautiful show now if you want to maybe get some of the pieces that were in it you can go to the office and get this a shirt just like this for $15 and to go alongside it you get a sweater for just 18 bucks and that is all thank you Aside from September being the month that begins fall, it is also Suicide Awareness Month. In the stairway leading up to the second floor of the campus, you could see a billboard filled with many resources that can help your mental health. On the bottom left and right of the billboard, there are envelopes that consist of hotline numbers. If you ever need any assistance or anyone to talk to, please reach out to Ms. Cortez, Mr. DePaul's, or any adult you feel comfortable with. Stay strong, Wildcats. Well, that wraps it up. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, Wildcats. Yo, what's good, Wildcats? It's one of your anchors here, Erica. The episode isn't just over quite yet. With the new school year, we would like to introduce some of the newest members to the newest casting group and some of the returning members to the newest casting group. So without further ado, let's introduce them. Starting off pretty strong, we have a returning member, Erica. As you can clearly see, she has fire fits, knows how to drive, and is clearly always camera ready. Moving on, we have another returning member, Mia my partner in crime. Mia is always rocking her sunglasses, so that really just means she's too cool for school. 
Now introducing a new member to the newscasting group, Melissa. Melissa loves her some snacks, and she always has a bright, pretty smile on her face. And now welcoming some new members to the newscasting group, we have Raquel, Anthony, and Sean. Raquel, Anthony, and Sean are all a part of the entertainment crew. And as we can see from the baby pictures, Raquel is totally rocking that blue shirt with a beautiful smile. Tony has an adorable baby picture. And just for your information, whenever you see Tony on the screen, you're going to die laughing. And then, and then there's Sean. Sean is very smart and funny on, on some occasions. Here we have Manny or Manuel, which is a returning member to the newscasting group. Then we have JB, who is a new member to the newscasting group. And then there's Matthew. Manny, JB, and Matthew are all a part of the cameraman slash production crew and all do a wonderful job behind the scenes. As we can see from JB's baby picture, he is a diehard fan of Buzz Lightyear. And then there's Matthew, who has a little bit of a peanut head. Here is a returning member, Kimberly. She is a part of the school events team. And as we can see from her baby picture, she's not doing too much smiling, but in person, in class, she's a delight to have around. Okay. We have some returning members to the newscasting group, Gerardo and Fern. Fern and Gerardo are part of the pop culture group and always give us the newest news on pop culture. This dude right here is Caesar. He's a part of the entertainment group. And from the looks of his baby pictures, because he doesn't know how to send me pictures. <clears throat> anyway, as we can see from the pictures, he really doesn't look like he wants to be here. But in the classroom, in front of the camera, 10 out of 10. Okay, hold on, hold on. The episode isn't just over yet. I know you're probably asking, why is the screen blank? Why is it black? That's okay. This is where we would have inserted the picture of Andy, but just like Caesar, he doesn't know how to. Like, I literally asked this dude like 500. I even asked him two days in advance, but you know, that's all right. We're going to use a different picture to substitute. Y'all just, just pretend this is Andy. This is Andy, a returning member to the newscasting crew. Andy is a part of the school news events team alongside with Kimberly. And Andy is a delight to have in class. A delight. Here is also a new member to the newscasting crew, Leo. Leo is a part of the entertainment crew. He comes up with a lot of ideas and is very smart. And as we can see from his adorable baby picture, he is chunky and always ready for anything that is thrown at him. Okay, now, but certainly not least, we have our favorite teacher, Mr. Kent. This is our teacher, Mr. Kent. He's a funny teacher. He brings the class to life. Well, he's, he's kind of funny. <laughs> on, on occasions, on occasions. Anyway. He is the mastermind behind everything that goes on in class. Okay, Wildcats. Well, that concludes this episode. And the newscasting group cannot wait to make many more episodes. Peace. Yeah, I'm Rihanna. Okay, hater. Sports it. Uh, there will be a little, little, little important. There will be a meaning about sports songs. <laughs> Not that, not right now, dang! I shake it off, I shake it off. Oh. You know what? Trying to ride on you. We have to maintain. We have to maintain. Okay. This year's goal is to put my stones for 14th. Action so they can shut up. Action! Shh! And how she used. Uh, uh, oh. So Taylor fans, and you're upset that Kanye is taking away from her? Oh, hi. Taylor. <laughs>
Hey, can I cut my hair? Hey. Hey. Hey, so you still love you, Taylor? Yo, watch out, right? I'm the other, I'm the other, yeah.